So I'm finally home. I did these yesterday and I let them dry and here they are. Let's talk about the first one I did. There's this one right here. I did it with a swipe technique and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to or thought it would, but I still think it's pretty cool. Let me see. Right here. Looks like little sperms. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I swiped right here that way and going in that direction as well because the white was coming through way too much and it was like overpowering it. So I wanted to get some more color in there so I swiped some of the white off and I'm learning that black and white dominate very harshly. So I need to do less of that. Um, right here, kind of something, I don't know, the body of something and wings. And I'm not quite sure what to do with these cells right here, but they're pretty cool. So I'll figure out something. Let me show you those. Let's do a close up on this. There's like a little heart right here. And it's Ivy walking around with my high heels on. Dude, the sperm have faces. It's so funny. Look at them. They're swimming. They're swimming away. Okay. I like it. I'm very happy with it. Even though it's not what I thought it was going to be. And, like, none of the pink showed up. So I used pink, purple. I used these colors right here. I made this with the leftovers. And this is going to be for Ivy's Barbie house. Surprise, Ivy! I made this for you, Barbies. Yay! Yay. After I varnish it, you can have it. And this is the second one I did right here. I got in the white dom dominated, in which I did not want. But the neon, I'm trying to work with neons more. The last neon one I did, it was dominated by black, and I don't like it. So I tried doing it with white, and it turned out better. And I used some silver in there, too, which I like. So next time I do neons, I'm not going to do white, like, at all. Because I did, I covered the whole thing in white. And then I um, did three puddle pours with that. But this right here is awesome. Like, I can see, I can, like, totally see, like, a monster in it. Like, here's the eye, here's some teeth, and the head right here. Like, some crazy head thing going on right there. And it, like, echoes into, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. Maybe put some bats on it. That'd be pretty cool. Or some crazy shapes to go with it. But definitely, he's... That guy right there. That guy right there. You see him? I didn't use any silicone in this one. The first one I did. And we have this one. That This one is my first, um, I don't know what you call it, but you make rings with it. Like, you pour it. It's a dirty pour, but you pour it like that. So it makes rings. So I made some rings right here. I think I need to make the, each um, color that I pour into the cup more. Like, I need to pour more of one color and then go to another color. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one. But it's interesting. I made the base black and then I did the pour over it. I think it's pretty. 
There's some pretty skins from it too. Oh, I didn't show you the skins from the other ones. So let's go back and do that. I like them. Not too thick. Let's go on this side. Those are nice. Let's go back to the other ones over here. Which I'm probably not going to use these because they've been dominated by the white. So that kind of sucks. But these right here are pretty. Very beautiful. I love them. I need to find some more large pendant trays. Because I like to put a large piece in them for you guys to wear. And let's go on to the other one. So I found that my counter is crooked this way in different spots. It's really weird. I don't know. But this right here was down more and it kind of looked like a serpent coming out which was really cool. And because of my crooked counter it kind of moved that way a little bit. Which kind of sucks but his head's still there. So I think I'm still going to use this body as like some type of serpent monster thing. You can see some teeth and eyes. And maybe make these wings somehow. And I don't know. This some type of base that's sitting on. I don't know, but I really want to use this. It's like some kind of monster. So I think it's really awesome. We use like a silver marker, silver paint on this to outline it. It's beautiful. And here's the skins of that. They're stuck to the cup, so I gotta get them off of there. It kind of sucks. I love how sparkly it, are. it is. I use a... I don't know. I don't know how to say that word, so whatever. It's like sparkly purple. It's like one of those stones. It's, it starts with an A. It's purple. Lillian has one of those stones, actually. It's the last one right here. It glows in the dark. I use all glow in the dark paint. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll just make it into like a cute little monster. And I'll show you how it glows in the dark too. It feels so nice. The skins are pretty muddy, just like the pieces, but they, they feel so cool. Like it's like a different plastic than the other acrylics. I really like the way it feels. But this one's going to be a little bit challenging for me. I don't know what to put on it, like what to add to it to make it cooler than it is. And I don't know. I need to show you guys how it glows in the dark. I'll probably post it on Instagram. Um... My at Instagram is Sweet Malice Official, so go there and check that out. Here we are.